because I wanted to uh, challenge myself. I knew about cigar box guitars a long time ago uh, from studying blues history as a kid and uh, playing in. I grew up in blues, playing in blues and soul and R&B bands up in Wisconsin. I actually grew up in the sticks in the woods. I'm uh, about as happy as can be. Man, I, I don't care if it's a deer stand or squirrel hunting, man. I'm cat heads and gravy, man. I don't care. I'm good. I'm, I just love being in the woods. But then here I live in the inner city of Chicago since 73 because there's so many messed up, broken folks. I do a lot of prison and jail ministry. I, I, at this point, I don't really care if I play anymore uh, except in front of incarcerated people. And so many folks there, honest to God, have more of a passion and a heart for Jesus than people I see often in church. So, you know, straight up, I guess when you're up against the wall, you, you wake up a little bit. And see, uh, it's this old reality I figured out a long time ago, more is never enough. So I thought, okay, let's strip it down to three strings, you know, to challenge myself to go into deeper blues. And, uh, my, my daddy had a lot of money, and we lost it all. And it was hunting and fishing and bartering. He had three operations, and we had nothing. And uh, living in uh, farm country in south central Wisconsin, and my mother committed adultery and uh, ended up in the city with her, I'm the youngest of three kids. My brother joined the army to escape. My sister got married to escape. She went through four marriages, finally broke down and came to Jesus some years later. And uh, my brother, I believe, prayed just before he died of cancer. And uh, my dad showed up at a res gig, a band my wife and I fronted for 28 years called Resurrection Band, res band. And uh, <laughs> we, we, only, we all say if only one, right? We were all liars. We don't, who, what, how did we spend money when one person got saved? What a it was bad stewardship, right? <laughs> Except that one on that occasion was my father. And his whole life changed. It's somebody's son in that in that jail cell, in that prison cell, on death row. It's somebody's son, that's somebody's daddy, somebody's grandpa, somebody's mother, grandmother, daughter, future husband, future wife, perhaps. Somebody's husband or wife. Those are human beings with names, y'all. The least of these. The least of these. I'm going to do a song in a moment about that. But the problem is, is we talk a good talk. Yeah? We celebrate veterans. Really, how many veterans benefits have you done? How many veterans do you think are sitting behind bars right now? I see them all over the country. What are you doing for the people that put their neck on the block for you and me? I don't want to know what you think. I don't care how you voted. What are you doing? I mean, the church is so full of talk. So full of words, man. So full of words. So I wrote this song a number of years ago. I usually do it on a diddly bow, but I'll pull that out a little later. Live your life for a change. Live your life for a change. You ain't gonna take it if you know how. Live your life for a change. Live your life for a change right now. Make a difference in this world. Make a difference in this world. Make a difference in this world somehow. Don't just do it for yourself. Put your pride up on the shelf. Make a difference in this world somehow. Sister, your enemy and friend, your mother and your father, all this family in the end. One day we will answer for the love we did not spend. Live your life for a change right now. Live your life for a change. Live your life for a change. You ain't gonna take it if you know how. Live your life for a change. You won't be ashamed. It's a song about a, well, 
almost uh, exactly, not every single point in the song, but about an old dude that we used to have property, our fellowship, Jesus people in Chicago, down uh, 13 miles north of the Arkansas border. A lot, of, a lot of fish and game down there, I'll tell you that. And uh, this old boy had been a Nazi. He got to the end of the track, got a house in there with some nasty kids, started raising a little Marahoochee back in the day. Nobody liked him, and he didn't like nobody. The title song of a project I recorded in a lodge we built down there. County Blues, Ripley County, Missouri. Second, uh, still is second poorest county in the state. That old clay in Ripley County, as thick as it has ever been. Yeah, he got three sons and a bottle. Done like the sunlight coming. That old whipple will song filters in through his haze. And it stinked in the roadway. Life for Amos is a maze. With that old clay in Ripley County. Thick as it has ever been. Summer drought keeps rolling. Just like Amos and his kin. Only two roads they can walk down. One is righteous and one is sin. It's time that I stop in. Mm -hmm. 